Hey guys! So today we're going to be making chromatography butterflies. What you'll be needing are some washable markers, some coffee filter paper, a jar of water, and a pipe cleaner. So the first step is to draw some circles around your piece of paper. And make sure you do it on two pieces of paper. They can be the same color or they can be different colors. For one of my butterflies, I decided to make it black, so I drew a black circle around it. The colors in the black one actually spread out to be really cool. And for my other butterfly, I colored in two pieces of filter paper with purple, blue, and pink. The next step is to fold your pieces of paper. Make sure you do it to both of them. Now it's time to put your folded pieces of paper into the jar of water. When doing this step, make sure that only the tip of your pieces of paper touches the surface of the water. I secured mine in place with a paper clip. Make sure you do this to both pieces of your filter paper. You can do them at the same time. Here we can see all of the different colors separating. The reason for this is capillary action and the different chemicals in the pens. If you want to learn more about chromatography, be sure to click the link in the description box below. After the ink spreads on both of your pieces of paper, take them both out and let them dry. This should take about 5-10 to 10 minutes. Now it's time to put it together. Take put both pieces of your filter paper and scrunch it up from the middle. Put them both together and tie a pipe cleaner around the center. If, you're, if the antennas are too long, you can fold them down like I did. And there you go, there's your butterfly.